And in this particular video, we're going to want to find the sum of all this stuff. So what does this mean right here? Well, of course, I'm going to fully explain this. Now, if you've seen this notation before, uh, hopefully you'll remember what to do. If you have not seen this notation, I know this looks kind of cryptic or uh, mysterious. It's actually not that difficult. Matter of fact, just as a little kind of uh, trivial uh, bonus thing, in calculus, we have a symbol that kind of represents this symbol. It looks like this. Okay, so if you've ever seen calculus notation, calculus can look, you know, it's kind of crazy looking. It looks like this with maybe some uh, function and all this kind of stuff, this little, we call elongated S. This is basically what we're talking about here. So anyways, so just kind of saying that to capture more of your interest. But anyways, if you could find the sum of this, that would be outstanding. Go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second, and then I'm gonna fully explain what's going on here. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's go take a look at the answer here. So the answer is 20. So hopefully, you know, um, you're kind of not taken aback by this answer. Maybe you were expecting something more complicated, but uh, all of this right here turns out to be equal to 20. Now, how do we get there? Of course, I'm gonna explain that in one second, but uh, if you got this right, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, let me give you a nice little happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a few stars, so you can tell your friends and family that you understand sigma notation or summation notation, that's what this is right here. Um, and the sigma um, is just basically represents the sum of something, okay? So that's what we're talking about. And let's kind of get into the real basics of this. So uh, when you start studying the topics of sequence, okay, or sequences, so this would be an example of a sequence like one, two, three, four. These are sequences, this is a specific sequence of a number or excuse me, specific sequence of numbers, right? Now, a lot of times students confuse these two words, a sequence and a series, all right? So a sequence is just numbers, a pattern of, of numbers separated by commas, okay? And these would be the terms of the respective sequence. But if we add up the terms of a uh, sequence, we have now uh, something called a series, okay? So you don't wanna confuse these two terms. A lot of students do, it's totally normal. I mean, both of these words start with S and they're very similar, right? But again, a sequence is something like this, one, two, three, four. Okay, these are the terms of that sequence. A series is when we're adding up the terms of a sequence that is a series. Okay, so with that in mind, an easy way to express a series is using this sigma notation, okay? So that's what this is all about. And if you look here, this particular series, we're adding up one, two, three, and four, which means that we're finding the sum, right? We're gonna find the entire sum of uh, these uh, numbers uh, here. So uh, the sigma notation, this crazy notation I just uh, showed you in the beginning of this video, if you've never seen it before, it looks very uh, mystic, right? It's like, oh, what is this stuff? And that, this is, brings me to another point. If you are, you know, learning advanced math for the first time, okay, or, you know, whatever course you might be in, you're going to encounter new symbols and new uh, things. Don't let that intimidate you, right? Don't let these symbols, math symbols, intimidate you. What you have to do is kind of, you know, break things down and just learn this stuff. So uh, never be intimidated by, you know, the way something looks in math or science and physics, et cetera, et cetera. But anyways, here is the sigma notation. Now, well, here is a kind of a definition of the sigma notation or summation uh, notation, but this doesn't really make a lot of sense. Okay, now I'm gonna kind of explain this to you right now, and uh, then of course we'll do this problem. Okay, so let's first get some um, basic uh, concepts down here. So this I, all right, let's take this example here. This little I right here is called is referred to as the index of summation. Now, a lot of students will just forget that's what it's called, but you know, if you've never seen this, this is like a little mini lesson on this. This is called the index of summation. This one is the lower limit of summation, 
and then the n right here is the upper limit of summation. So here I have a sub i, okay? And what we're gonna be doing is starting off with one, okay? Then we're gonna index to two, and we always start with one, then we go to two, and then we just continue on to three, all the way out to n, which would be the upper limit of summation. Now, a lot of you still might be kind of confused with this. You're like, okay, yeah, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of clear, but it's, you know, I need to see an example, right? So examples always work best when we're trying to learn something new. So let's go to our problem. Okay, so again, the sigma notation, this notation right here, is a great way to express uh, a series, okay? And the series is the sum, right? We're adding up the terms of a uh, uh, of a sequence, okay? That is a series. Now, just to kind of uh, understand how you would say this, how you would describe this, you would say this as the sum from i, okay? So we're gonna kind of read this, describe this. The sum from i equals one to four, okay, of two i, all right? So that's how you would uh, describe this, okay? So if you're like, well, say this, or tell me what this uh, says, you'll be like, oh, I don't know, sigma i four two i, <laughs> no, you'll say the sum of i equals one to four uh, of two i, okay? Sigma notation, again, this is a lovely way to express a series. All right, so finally, let's go ahead and actually calculate this, and you'll see how easy this is. All right, so this is all the work right now, and here is what we need to do. So here's the index of summation. Here's our starting point, one. So that means we're gonna replace this i right here with uh, the integers starting with one, and then we're gonna index to two, then we're gonna index to uh, three, and go up to the upper limit, four. Okay, so let's go ahead and start that right now. All right, so first uh, number is one. Okay, there you go. So that's gonna be two times one. See, this is two i, that's multiplication. And then we're gonna add that, because that's the sigma notation means this is one term, and then you add to get, to, you add the next term. The next term is when we index up. So now we go to two, right? So we're gonna plug in a two right here. So that's two times two, and then we're, we're going to add the next term, which is three, because we're indexing up, and then we're going to add our final term, our upper limit right there, which is four, which is plus uh, two times four. And then all we have to do is simplify two times one is two, two times two is four, two times three is six, two times four is eight, and we add up all those lovely numbers and we get the sum of 20. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in advanced math, check out these courses right here. So these courses, Algebra 2 and College Algebra, these are effectively the same level of mathematics. So whether you take my Algebra 2 or College Algebra uh, course, you're going to get the same material. Now, if you are further along in math and you need to study like advanced trigonometry and other topics, then check out my pre-calculus course. All right, so I'm gonna leave uh, links to all these courses in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.